here, the groovy rider. And in case it's not abundantly clear where I am, I'm in Jackson Square in beautiful New Orleans, Louisiana. And it's just a gorgeous day here. I thought I'd find a shady spot and record a video that I actually tried to record several days ago um, at Kitty Hawk in North Carolina in the Outer Banks, but it was so windy that you could not hear a word I was saying. So we got some jazz in the background, we got some people, we got some occasional sirens and just general sounds of the French Quarter, but I think hopefully you should be able to hear this one. The topic that I've been wanting to talk about this week as we've been traveling across the country from Arizona to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, so the Atlantic Ocean, and back again by way of um, the South, New Orleans, um, is this whole idea of right brain, left brain. I grew up in a time when this was very much sort of considered common wisdom, that either you tended to be um, <clears throat> a more right-brained person, i.e. creative person, or you tended to be a more left-brained person. And what we would tend to see those people as today are STEM people, people who go into science and math um, and, and computers and computer science and these different um, fields that are thought to be more analytical, less creative, right? So I have been for the past couple of years um, teaching for part of the year at a well-known aeronautical university. I've been teaching writing. I had to move. The leaf blower was getting to me. One of the things I quickly discovered with the creative writing class I designed was this is a myth. This idea of if you're a left brain person or a STEM person, uh, that you will tend to not be an artist or a writer. And if you are a right brain person, a creative person, you will probably tend to not be in the sciences. This may be true academically to an extent, um, because the school, the Aeronautical University uh, where, that I'm referring to here, does not have an arts program. There's no major for writing, there's no major for art, but um, there are these elective classes. And so what I quickly discovered was that these, these um, I'm going to do air quotes here with my water bottle, these STEM students have an incredible um, gift of creativity often. And it makes sense if you think about it. Science and math require, outside the box thinking, they require creativity, they require um, analysis. These are all things that go into the development of a writer. Right? So we're using our creative brains as writers, we're using our analytical skills, we're hopefully thinking outside the box so that what we're writing is fresh and not, um, hasn't been done before, at least not completely, of course, that, you know, there's nothing new under the sun, as has been said, um, but you find that there's a lot of crossover between what used to be considered sort of these two different uh, brain hemispheres. And I really do see that in real time. I experience it myself. I've always considered myself more of a right brain person. I've always leaned pretty heavily toward languages um, and the arts, you know, theater arts and writing and visual arts as well. But also loved the life sciences in school, biology, because I love, love animals, so I was always fascinated in how, um, how nature works as well. So that was sort of my own limited experience, but again, when I started working with these just very traditional STEM students um, and realized some of the ideas they have, and maybe they don't have as, as much of the deep training as writers because their focus has been on those more stem -y subjects, but the, all of the elements are there. So the whole purpose of me um, regaling you with this tale is to say, if you are a uh, more of a left brain STEM type person, and you think, I really kind of have this desire to write, but I also don't know that I can because I'm more of a STEM person and I, I don't think I am a writer, I am here to tell you, don't let that stop you. Start writing, get to it. Tell the story that's that's in you. And remember that so much of writing uh, something great is really in the revision and the editing. So let those wonderful uh, ideas flow. You might be surprised, as so many of my students, I think all my students were, <laughs> when they actually allowed themselves to um, have these ideas, express these ideas, and then execute the ideas, um, pre-writing, drafting, and then revising their work. It was really something to behold. So. Uh, likewise, I'd say if you are more of a, uh, you think of yourself as more of a pure creative type, but you have an interest in, in the sciences or in, in math, 
go for it. Don't let it stop you. I really think a lot of this is a myth and it's very supported sort of socially to be one or the other, but you don't have to be. And um, the more I've sort of realized this, the more I seem to notice around these people who are very much both of what would have been considered right brain and left brain back in the day. So that's it. I'm going to get back to exploring the wonderful French Quarter on this gorgeous day. A little warm, but it's okay. We're just going to soak it in. I hope you all are having a fantastic day.